What's up, man? This is your boy, Oss, coming to you with another motherfucking 2K video. This time, the jump shots. You know I got the shots. I had the shots for y'all in 2K15, 2K16, not 2K17. I got y'all. Wanna shout out my nigga, uh, Duncan, for making a dog-ass um, banner for me. But let's get in right into it. Hey, go check that banner out, though. I'm gonna leave the nigga Facebook in the description. That nigga good, bro, but... Let's start it off, bro. No wasting time. I got some brownies in the oven. Release number 98. Now, first, I'm going to go through the releases. Then, I'm going to go through player releases that are the best. And then, the custom jump shots I've made that are the best to me, personally. But, number 98. Release 98 is nothing but a green machine, baby. That bitch is wet as fuck. Wet as shit. Green every time. You throw it up. I mean, it's quick as hell. You throw it up, and it's just, it's in, bro. It's like, it's easy money. Before I got into really making my jumpers, I even messed the dude because he found it. I'm like, hey man, what jumper you got? He's like 98. You can see the green just rolling off. And I did some editing with this video too, man. I ain't even, I ain't even gonna do y'all dirty, man. I just wanna make this one five minutes and get it over with. You feel me? So like, the next jumper I believe is number 33. And release 33 is fucking. This is a great one too. I like the these releases are quick, not just quick, but like also pretty efficient. I did get the job done. Quick release is this ultra fire, and especially coming around the screen. This one is nice if you're in a corner. Uh, it, it's like the same release if you're in a corner, if you're on the wing. Uh, it was very money from mid range, high arc, so it doesn't really get blocked that much and stuff like that. So, release 33 is extremely great, if I do say so myself, man. You see, I'm just in the gym. Also, like to mention that. I shoot all my jumpers in this gym, in your Pro-Am gym, because in your Pro-Am gym, you cannot change the settings. You see a lot of people with different videos, and they're like, they're in their main gym, and it's like, you know, they can have that shit on Rookie, and then they showing you how to shoot these shots and stuff like that, and they're getting great releases. In the Pro-Am gym, you cannot change your settings. Your settings are the Pro-Am settings, so you, it's like, it's already made for you, so this is how you really know if your jumper is legit or not legit. Now, the first player jumper I'm going to go through is Kyle Corver's. Kyle Corver's jumper is amazing, bro. Like, this is the first jumper I bought. I don't even think it's like $1,000. It's like less than that. And, like, it's very consistent. Even if it's not green, it goes in. And then when it gets green, like right here, wow. It's, I mean, you already know it's in. You know, it's very easy to shoot with the button. I feel like 2K implemented the, the shot stick shooting for people who don't have a high jump shot. You know what I'm saying? So... They can still have a chance to make threes, but if you're a good, you know, shooter in general, you can use the button. You'll get the, um, you'll get the greens, especially with these ones, bro. Cause they, I mean, they, those are just easy jumpers, bro. Easy money to make, and it's just like whatever, bro. <laughs> get it in. And then the next player jumper, I think, is a, uh, is Clay Thompson. And with Clay's, man, you can just make it rain all over the place, bro. Clay is making it rain for real, bro. I seen a dude light my team up with Clay Thompson jumper. He was shooting from far as ever, far as hell, just wet in and out. You see, I'm going from corner to corner, wing, top of the key. It's just he's made. He was just like blazing. I'm like, damn, dog. <laughs> and I asked him who's jumper. Well, he didn't send me a message back, but after I record some of these games and I watch them back, and I'm like, oh, that's Clay Thompson shit. So. Motherfucker can't get past me, bro. I already know what you got, bro. I can know what you're doing, nigga. Fun, nigga. I got these brownies, man. Hey, I got some brownies in the oven, man. I'm sorry to even interrupt y'all with this, but I got some brownies in the oven. Them bitches about to be delicious, man. I got to bake. I've been wanting brownies for like four days, man. So I'm about to make some right now. That shit amazing, bro. I'm really proud of myself for that one. But the next jumper is my custom jumper. I already put this in another video, but... I want to make sure y'all really get that this jumper, it look, not only does it look like Steph Curry's jumper, it's amazing, bro. It's based Carmelo Anthony. The release is 100% Curry. The marker order is there, but I don't even use that other part. And you can just see, look at it. Look at how far back he is. This is also a good tell if your jumper is good or not when you're looking through the menus. Look where the player base starts off. If they start off inside the line, maybe it's not that good. But if you start off outside, you know, maybe they have a chance. Carmelo Anthony's jumper on his own is terrible, but mixed with Steph Curry's. It's amazing. Like, it's. I've really let people up for 50 points. I come off screen so quick and just wet it up, bro. Like, the threes get to raining down. It's almost like. My player just almost never gets cold, really. And, like, when he does make, it's like nothing but net. Sometimes it'll roll around, but it's really like nothing but net most times. And it's just. 
crazy good, man. I already put up clips in another video of this jumper going crazy. It's only downfall. It is pretty quick. You can see like the bar bump up real quick, come back down. It's very quick, but I mean, it's very worth it, man. If you come around the screen, you need some quick jumper to let off real quick. This is it, man. It's like, and put it on maximum speed. Of course, don't ever put it on anything less. Maybe a little bit before, but maximum speed always gets the job done. So now the final jumper is a custom jumper. It's a jump base, jump shot base 24, 70% Westbrook and 30% Clay Thompson. And jump base 24 is kind of like the Jimmer for that base, if you remember that from a couple other games. And it's like a high jumping release. And then like Westbrook's shot kind of goes kind of flat, but Clay kind of give it that arc that can make it like a make it just jump right into the basket and because jump shot number 24 is such a smooth it's really such a slow motion release that even if you put on the fastest this is on its fastest still moving kind of slow in it but it still is enough where you can time it better and looking from long range even from the long the deepest of long ranges it still goes in bro so i'm telling you this i'm giving i'm setting y'all niggas up bro I, this is a secret i ain't supposed to tell y'all niggas bro but i tell y'all niggas i love y'all niggas bro i want y'all niggas to be good bro i want y'all niggas to make shots bro i want y'all niggas to be in the park I'm like shout out to my nigga Oz, man. Oz got me together, bro. That's that's all I really want, man. I don't want to do with the glory. I just want y'all niggas to know I love y'all niggas, bro. You feel me? Now I did this to show y'all that you cannot change your jumper in the pro am um, arena. You have to leave and go back. I think it's the same for park. Also, you cannot change your to your custom jumpers in the pro am or in the park. You got to do it beforehand. You got to leave out and go to go back to switch it. You can't switch them mid that, but. That's it for me, folks. Peace out. I love y'all. Have a nice day. Bye.